reference to. How's that conversion defined? Will that work? Hmm? You want to treat it like there's no initial conversion coming in? Yeah, exactly. You can't treat it like there's no conversion. Right. The first one you can't because there's nothing coming in. Right. So is it always just going to be x2 minus x1? Yeah. Uh, you could try to account for it inside the thetas. Let's, let's just go all the way back, though, to the energy balance itself. And let's see what we end up with. So rather than taking the shortcut, just like when we dealt with multiple reactors, the first thing we did is we rewrote the design, the, the material balance. So it's going to be 0 is equal to the sum of the flow rates coming into the reactor minus the product of the flow rates leaving the reactor times their molar enthalpies. Right? Everybody clear on that? We got rid of the steady state term. We got rid of, I mean, the, the temperature, the time dependent term to the steady state. We got rid of Q and W. Okay, so using the nomenclature that we have, this is FaO2 times the enthalpy of AO2 plus what? Right, FB. We can't forget that now, so this is kind of what someone was suggesting is that we try to put everything in the thetas, but I think that can be confusing. So we have to keep in mind now that it's not going to be pure A coming into this second reactor anymore. And then we subtract off want to put it in terms of x1 and x2, we can do that. So FaO2 definition that we've been using in the course the entire time. Right? So X2 is defined all the way back to the inlet to the first reactor. Any questions there? Okay, so when we substitute those in, all the FA knots are going to cancel because they're in all the terms.
so we can keep rewriting it and what we see is So this is the heat, I mean, this is A in both streams, right? So what's the difference between the molar enthalpies for that? What is that? Hmm? No. What can change between the inlet and the outlet around reactor two? You're on the right track. It's the heat capacity. Oh, yeah, you said it right. Sorry. Yeah. But not CR. It's, so it's going to be the heat capacity. We're going to flip the, in a, the difference so that the temperature's T2 minus TO2. So what about this next term? difference between the enthalpy, the molar enthalpy of B entering the reactor versus A entering the reactor. So are they at the same temperature or are they at different temperatures? Same temperature. Same temperature, right? It's just T2. So let's ask more generically. What's the difference between the enthalpy of B minus the enthalpy of A at any temperature? There isn't. Since the CPs are equal, there's no. A goes to B. And I'm asking you for the difference in the enthalpy of B versus A. What do we call that? Delta H of reaction. And now, at what temperature? Is that the delta H of reaction? It's not constant. Somebody said that difference was constant. It's not. No, it's At the temperature of these streams. So it's this temperature. Times the conversion. That's from that. That didn't go away. And now, what's the difference? This one should be easier between the enthalpy of B and the enthalpy of A leaving the second reactor. Delta H reaction. At what temperature? T2. Times that second conversion. difference between these two terms? So what is delta H reaction at the temperature entering the second reactor versus the delta H of reaction at the temperature leaving the second reactor?
Yeah. What's delta CP for this problem? And so we have a difference in temperatures here. These are the same, right? So we can just replace that by saying delta H reaction at any temperature. And so what do we end up with? We end up with what some of you probably guessed. That's OK. Nothing wrong with deriving equations occasionally. Questions about how we got there. And now, of course, you can compare it to the equation I erased. But you can compare it that's to C the one that we had earlier. That's CPA, right? Yeah, sorry, yeah. That's actually a big deal in this class. Yeah. So either you can you can use this for either the first stage or a single stage. This is for the second stage. So it is just as you pointed out 20 minutes ago, just going to be the difference in conversion. But I think it's important to see, and it was a good reminder on where do we get all these energy balance terms? Where did this come from? Why is it the difference in the two conversions instead of just x2? Okay, so 